Today I'm going to talk about my anchor setup and how I retrieve my anchor if I get it stuck in the reef. Let me show you one excellent way not to lose your anchor when you're in the reef. Well, right now I have the anchor here with a swivel, which this swivel is excellent because it doesn't curl up once you pull in the anchor with a windlass. This makes it spin so all your rope does not, does not curl up like that, right? So in your chain also, so it gives it that flexibility. But when I'm fishing in the reef, I don't want to lose my anchor. If your anchor gets stuck, you pull it from here, you won't be able to take it out. If it gets stuck on a heavy reef or on the rock, anything like that. So what I'm going to show you is where to attach this and then use a zip tie. So that way you never lose your anchor and you can retrieve it. So what I usually do is I'll take this off right here. Okay, I'll take it off and then I'll bring it back here and I will attach it right back here. Okay, so once I have it back here, I'm gonna tie it real tight. And the reason I'm showing you this is because these anchors are really expensive. They could cost you from 120 and up on an anchor. So you always want to retrieve your anchor. Plus, you're not littering on the ocean either, leaving the anchors behind. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure the anchor with a zip tie right here. Okay, cut this piece right here, All right? So now how this works is when you pull in your anchor like this, that's why you have to make sure that the anchor strengths all the way forward, All right? So that there, so right there is perfect. So when you pull in your anchor forward, you got no problem with the anchor at all. You're going forward like this. But when you get stuck to show you this is a 75 pound zip tie. I'm gonna cut the zip tie a little bit so I don't have to put a lot of force into it. Okay, I cut the zip tie halfway. Now, to retrieve the anchor would be very easy. All I gotta do is pull with the windlass forward and then pull right here, pull up. And now the anchor is gonna go up. A lot of anchor companies put the little hole there that way you can use it for that purpose so then you'll pull from here and it comes up so if you could pull it from here what you're going to do is you're going to keep pulling whatever obstacle is here you're going to keep trying to yank that up and it's not going to work plus you could do some damage to your windlass also to your uh, platform there in the front so to avoid that problem the zip tie is very inexpensive to use and use this mechanism so this swivel doesn't work back here because it's not going to spin but when i'm at the beach or i'm going to the islands i'll put it right here in the front so that way my chain doesn't curl up also my rope doesn't curl up i really like this swivel i will put the link in the description below if you want to check it out all right i hope this helps retrieving your anchor that way you don't lose your anchor out there they're very expensive so using it this way you're going to avoid a lot of problems retrieving your anchor that's why they designed a the little hole in the back there, so you don't have that issue. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.